in Semenago. So I hope you guys can see what I'm trying to be. So yeah, I'm doing a cave woman um, Halloween tutorial today and I'm so excited about it because I really love how it turned out. I was actually a cave woman for a carnival we had earlier on in this um, early on this year in my city it was back in May I think so that's where I got the costume from I got it from a local costume shop and since I already had um, the costume I thought I might as well do it for Halloween so I just did you know some nude lips and some really messy smoky eyes and then this this hair and then I tried to make myself look a little bit dirty with some contour and yeah, that's basically the look. And I must say, I think this is my favorite Halloween tutorial so far this year. I really, really love it. So if you like it as well, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you watch in high definition. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will send you on to the tutorial now. So here comes the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to clip my hair out of my face so that we can get started. So for primer, I'm going to use my W7 Perfection Primer. So I always like to warm up my primers between my fingers. And then I go straight onto my face. And I get this underneath my eyes as well. And I just apply it absolutely everywhere. And for foundations, I'm going to mix my L'Oreal Infallible Matte with my Vichy Derma Blend Foundation. So this one is slightly too light for me and this one is slightly too dark. So just shake them up and I just mix them on the back of my hand with a q-tip and then I go ahead and apply it. And whenever I do mix my foundation I just kind of um, do it you know kind of just on an estimate because I know I want most of the lightest foundation but then I just want to add a little more um, of a darker foundation to just make it look just make it a little bit darker but also make it a little more yellow because my L'Oreal foundation is quite pink toned and I have a yellow tone in my skin and normally doing it like that works well for me and you guys all know me so I go in with a little more foundation to build up the coverage you of course don't have to do this but I like to do it because I'm on camera and you can see everything on camera. But I am going to um, do like a foundation, not a foundation routine, a tinted moisturizer routine once um, Halloween is over. And I think I'm also going to do like a BB cream routine and a minimal foundation routine. Because I do know that I wear a lot of heavy foundation in most of my videos. But that's not necessarily what I wear. On like an everyday basis so underneath my eyes I'm going to use my Touche Eclat by um, Yves Saint Laurent and this kind of highlighting pen just has a bit of a peachy I don't know peachy salmon kind of color so it's great for neutralizing dark circles so I don't apply a ton of this I just apply a little bit and it's just to correct my under eye darkness it gives like a nice base for your concealer to go on top of and then for my concealer I'm going to use MAC Pro Longwear in the color NC15 and I'm just going to stick that underneath my eyes and I always like to use my sponge just because I feel like it gives the best coverage and the best finish I feel like with my fingers, my fingers absorb too much of the product and it takes away too much of the coverage. And I feel the same way about um, brushes. I feel like they don't give me the kind of coverage that I want. And as always, I'm going to set all of my products in place with some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I'm using my e.l.f. Studio Powder Brush underneath my eyes. So to brighten up my face, I'm going to use a mixture of these two colors. And these are just from my Born Pretty Star Highlight and Contour Palette. So I just go with a fluffy powder brush underneath my eyes. And I'm just going to blend it lightly out. 
So to bronze up my skin, I'm going to use this e.l.f. powder in the color Honey. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. dipple brush, as I always do. So I start from the back of the cheekbone and blend down towards my lips. And with this particular product, I like to do two layers. And of course, I do the forehead and I bring it all the way down to my temples on each side. And again, I do another layer and a little bit along the jaw. I don't do my jaw very strong because it can easily look kind of muddy, I think, on the jaw. But I definitely feel like it looks nice if you just take a little bit and bring it on your jaw and down your neck. I am going to go back into my Born Pretty Store Contour and Highlight Palette and use this lightest brown color. And I'm of course using my NARS Eater Brush. It really chisels out your cheekbones. So as you guys can probably see by now, I'm going for quite a glamorous cave woman. And I also go up here and shade a little bit. So I basically just go over anywhere I bronzed. And I'm even adding a little bit along the jaw just to slim my face. And I use the same brush for my nose contour. So I'm using a bit more of these two powders that I used underneath my eyes. And I'm going to use those to clean up the contour right down here. And I'm also just going to blend the contour a tiny bit upwards. And also blend the nose and blend the forehead a little bit. And the jaw. So I'm also going to be applying some neutral toned blush and for that I have chosen my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Exposed. It looks like this. And I'm just applying that on the apples. And then to make this look a little more glamorous I'm going to take my Becca Opal um, Highlighter and I'm going to apply this with a little fan brush from Born Pretty Store. So I brush it up onto my brow bone and kind of above the brow and also on my cheekbone of course. And again I go up on the other brow and brow bone and down onto the cheekbone. And I also go down the nose and right on the tip of the nose and Cupid's bow. And then I just lightly blend it all out. So before I go ahead and set my face makeup, I'm going to brush through my eyebrows. And then I'm using my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set to set everything in place. And I'm running super low on this, so I need to go out and pick up another one. And I let that dry. And before I move completely onto the eyes, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Studio Lip Exfoliator and go ahead and exfoliate my lips because they have been so dry and chapped lately. I don't know what it is, it might be the weather because I have been drinking a lot of water. But yeah, I'm just going to do this. And once I'm done scrubbing, I'm going to take some Vaseline and pop that on top. And now we can move on to the eyes. So for eyebrows, I actually want to keep it pretty natural and a little bit messy, maybe. So I'm going to just take my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumber in the color Medium Dark. So I'm just going to run this through my eyebrows. So yeah, I just want kind of like a natural brow. So that's why I'm just using a tinted brow gel. So that's all for the brows. I wanted to keep it super simple. So on my eyelid, I'm going to use a bit of my e.l.f. Essentials Eyelid Primer in the color Sheer. So I'm just going to apply a little bit and I tap it out with my finger. I'm going to set my primer with some of this Brulee eyeshadow by Wet n Wild. So I'm just going to apply this all over and it's okay if you cover up your brow bone highlight, you can always Add that again, or you can leave it matte, whatever you like. So now I'm going to take the color Nutty, also by Wet n Wild. And with my MAC blending brush, I'm going to apply this on my lid and up into my crease. And the reason why I applied that 
brulee eyeshadow underneath is because I don't want this to be too dark. I want it to be more of like a natural shadow. So now I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in the color Zero. And I'm going to apply this eyeliner to top and bottom waterlines and really make sure I get a lot on there. So I start out with the top and make sure you get it like in between your lashes and up onto the upper lash line. And then also apply it to the lower waterline. So we end up with something like this. Really nice and messy. <laughs> so I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm going to use a Q-tip to blend this out. And now I'm going to take the Panther eyeshadow by Wet n Wild. This is a matte black. And I'm using my same MAC blending brush to just blend this over my liner. And I go ahead and do the other eye. And I do blend it kind of <clears throat> out into a kind of cat-like shape just because that's the most flattering on my eyes and I just keep on smoking it out and I add more black shadow right here in the outer corner to make it more smoky so once I'm done with the eyeshadow I'm going to move on to uh, mascara so of course first I curl my lashes And I'm going to start out with some mascara primer just to make sure that my lashes are nice and long and thick. Okay, so while the mascara primer dries, I'm going to take off my lip balm. And then I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going to use my favorite lip liner to use when I'm doing a nude lip, which is Jordana's Tawny lip liner. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use this one by Estee Lauder in the color Vanilla Truffle. It looks like this. I just blend it in with my finger. And then finally, I'm going to apply this Lives a Peach lip gloss by Lipmatic. So now I'm going to go back to my lashes with some Estee Lauder Black Mascara and I'm going to start out with my top lashes. So I'm going to do a second coat of mascara with my Absolute Lashes Mascara by W7. And I'm also going to hit up my bottom lashes. Okay, so I ended up applying three coats of mascara to my upper lashes and two coats to my lower lashes. And then I just went ahead with a little more eyeliner. I might regret doing this, but I really want this look to be a little more messy. So I would like to add like a little bit of like dirt on my face. So I'm going to try and use this color from my contour and highlight palette. And just kind of rub it on my face and my neck and then hope that it turns out good like that <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing So kind of like that. And then I'm going to take my hair down 
and I'm going to go ahead and tease my hair a little bit. <laughs> mm, look at that volume. I have too much hair. I like dying in here. This is going to be a pain in the ass to brush out, but I actually quite like this look. So this is my finished cavewoman look. I really love how this turned out. I think it looks so fun and this is relatively simple to do. So if you like the look as well, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next Halloween video. So take care and bye bye.